Okay, guys, we're in today with the Stoger STR9. This is the STR9C in the box, though. The box says STR9, but I can guarantee you there is a C, a compact, in the box. Let's get rid of that. Let's see what we get here. You got your manual, as usual. Color pictures, well laid out. Parts diagrams. And this is the RMR cut on this pistol, too. So we'll see an optic in the next few weeks for this coming in. In the box, we have the lock. You have the mounting plates for different optics provided. You have a magazine loader. An interesting story. The only issue with this whole order was this magazine loader is broken. So it was it was broken in transit. So I don't hold that against Stoger or the company or um, you know wh where it came from. But um, I have to say, Stoger was really good about it, though. I reached out to them, and it was shipped the, the, the same day to get me a new uh, magazine loader. So that was that was really accommodating and nice of them. Now let's look at the gun. It is clear. You have a steel guide rod. It's always nice. There's your cut. But an interesting grip texture on this pistol. The uh, you've got some pretty spiky grips on the back. I'm wondering about that. It doesn't really bother me in a way, but on, on firing it, I'm kind of con I'm concerned with that. So we'll see what the what that does for it good wide trigger and uh, all in all pretty much a flat face trigger too if you can see that and like i said the gun is clear we'll show you what kind of pull it's got all right there's the wall good break there's the reset so, it's, it's not bad at all i really like it good rail in the front Sides are three dot, rear drift adjustable. Ambidextrous mag magazine release as well. You can switch that. So let's get this loaded up and shoot the target first and see what kind of grouping we get with it. Okay, gang, I included you get the uh, steel 13 round magazine with the compact and uh, made really well, clearly marked. I always like a steel mag. All right, we got a target set up here. And just to make you all aware, the, the, tar the backboard has been hit a few times, but the orange is clean. So let's see what we can do with the uh, STR-9 on this. Okay, that was about 10 yards. Pretty pretty decent. We'll step this back a little bit and we'll give it a go again. All right, we stepped it back to about uh, right around 12 yards this time. Let's see what we can do there. After that one, we're, we're out of the orange now, but we're pretty, you know, still close. <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying to make it sound better than what it is. But I'm thinking one of these, so we'll say this one. But now we'll, uh, we'll remove this completely and go ahead and try the steel plates right around tw between 20 and 25 yards and see what we get.
All right, that last, uh, that first target, it's pretty big. It's a little bit heavy to knock over. I double tap that one. Yeah. All right, guys, to sum it up, I guess, um, I'm, I enjoyed it. And, you know, as far as this uh, uh, the grip goes, the grip texture of stippling, I, it didn't really bother my hand that much. I thought it might be a little irritating, but it's not. I mean, my personal preference, though. As far as the grip itself, feels great. It's just like pointing your finger. And I uh, really like the uh, serrations on the, uh, for the grip texture on the uh, slide. It's, it's just different, and it, it feels right. It's, it does its job. It's not too aggressive to slice you or irritate you. But, yeah. Seemed to shoot pretty smooth. And, you know, all in all, that's pretty good accuracy for, for that distance. I'm really, really liking it, you know. So yeah, we'll uh, mount a good optic to it, and we'll do a revisit on this one here in the next few weeks. And hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, we, you know, leave a comment down below. We appreciate it, and thank you guys. And and remember, this was the poll winner. This is the one that you all chose. So now you know. If you're out and you see one, you'll know what to say and and what it how it performs. Guys, take care. See you around. All right, before you go, we got an update for you on the uh, magazine loader here. This just came in the mail, and it's less than 30 days or so of contacting Stoger about that magazine loader. So, let's see if this one is in better shape. There it is. The replaced magazine loader. So, yeah, I've got nothing bad to say at all about Stoger. Um, like I said before, this wasn't their fault. I'm sure it happened during shipping. And they certainly made good for it. So, guys, once again, thanks for watching. Take care. And we'll see you around.